Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we're going to be doing a review for a new comic from Dark Horse, Paranoid Gardens number one. Uh, let's talk about the creative team before we get into this book. This book is written by Gerard Way with Sean Simon, uh, art by Chris Weston, Dave Stewart on colors, letters by Nate Picas. And yes, when we say Gerard Way, that is the Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance, who's also done comics like The Umbrella Academy, Doom Patrol, all that fun stuff. Uh, so let me give you a quick synopsis. We'll get into the book. So writers Gerard Way and Sean Simon join forces with illustrator Chris Weston uh, to present an all-new surreal comic that's an experience that ER meets Doctor Who on acid. In this book, we'll meet Lou, a nurse who is at the most bizarre care center around. The staff are not entirely human. The cases are downright unearthly. Aliens, ghosts, superheroes, and more creatures plague its hallways as both doctors and patients and the hospital itself seems to be somewhat self-aware. Lou believes that despite a reason failure at her job, she's been given some sort of higher calling in this mysterious place and decides to rise to the challenge. Along the way, she must fight her way through corrupt staff members, powerful theme park cults, and her own personal demons and trauma to meet his challenges uh, and discover what secrets this garden holds. Uh, and if that premise sounded bananas insane to you, it's because this book is weird and it's out there and it's, I don't know, it's it's got a lot of different things. It's very freaky. Um I think the comic itself is actually very well executed because everything comes through in that. Uh, there's an uneasiness about the story that we're seeing. Uh, the art is really just delves into all these like weird kinds of creatures. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and it really just brings that point across. And I think it does it so well. Uh, the only thing is, after I got done with this book, I just kind of realized that maybe a story like this is not for me. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know where I kind of lost track of, of the book. Um, there's definitely a lot happening and, and it's, like I said, I think very well executed. Uh, so this just, this is just one of those cases where like a thing is not for you, right? Uh, let me pull up some of the preview art so I can show you, uh, how great, uh, Weston's art, uh, is coming across the page. Like we have these weird character designs, um, uh, and just, just situations that are it's such a weird way to introduce the book i do love the surreal like elements of this book like we see lou kind of walking in this hospital uh but is it a is is it a different world does lou have is she having visions is this all really happening uh you know i don't really know right so the book really leaves a lot that up to to your kind of interpretation here um and then we meet some of the, the patients, uh, the people that reside there. Some of those designs are rather grotesque, and, and it's something that I feel uh, that the creative team was definitely going for. Uh, that is not my preferred. Uh, just overall is not like kind of what I'm looking for sometimes in a book. Uh, so, yeah, this was, this was weird. Maybe a little bit too weird and off kilter for me. Uh, but if you are into that, if you're looking for a book that's just bananas insane, uh, I think this is a good place to go. Um, I, I would love to hear what other people think of this book. Like I said, I didn't fully connect with it, but I think the book is well, very well executed, right? We have Lou, who we find out a little bit about. There's enough in there in, in this to figure out, like, okay, there's a character that's definitely going through some stuff. Uh, she's got a very interesting personality challenging of authority uh, we know that there's a mystery going on at this hospital it's a lot more than meets the eye uh, and there's definitely conflict that's gonna arise very quickly uh, specifically from actually multiple places right whether it's the staff whether it's an outside force uh, so but yeah overall i don't think this is my cup of tea uh, and that's fine because that's the way comics should be right there should be something there for everything and everyone and not everything's going to be for everybody, and that's fine. Uh, but we'll definitely want to check it out because Dark Horse sends us these books, and I want to make sure that people are aware that these things are coming out. So let me know. What did you think of Paranoid Gardens uh, in the comments? And as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. 
Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.